The Nelson family has about 1,500 books on their shelves at home. They say reading brings them to a whole new world with every page is turned. Look out! Eva's brother Ian just started kindergarten and has also read a thousand books already. Their dad Eric says they were surprised to see their kids reach the mark. I just think it's amazing. I would have never thought that um, in such a short period of time they read that many books. Um, it's kind of funny thinking about all the books that we didn't count and all the daycare books that were read and grandparents read books. Eva still has two more years before she starts kindergarten, but that doesn't stop her from giving her parents books to read to her every chance she gets. What's your favorite one? Miss Miss. They say it all starts from home and their mom is an avid reader. Her love for reading started with mystery books like the Nancy Drew series. But reading has always been my thing. My parents would always say that I only became a good traveler once I could read in the car. And then that's how I spent all my trips, was reading. Children's librarian Randy Monley says the Minot Public Library wants to instill reading as an everyday routine. They really are learning those early literacy skills before they go into school. And they're also really building a relationship with books and their caregivers. It's, it's just such a great opportunity for the little ones. Both Eric and Beth say they hope their children will keep finding their love for reading and say they also learn something new with every book read. Uh, Mr. President! Screams for Harrison Ford as he joined his Captain America Brave New World castmates on the stage of Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con. It is I, Alexei Shostakov. Let me introduce you to... Oh my God. You guys didn't dress up? David Harbour was the only member of the Thunderbolts cast to appear in costume. Exactly one year from this weekend, we are releasing the first, Marvel's first family into the MCU, the Fantastic Four. Marvel chief Kevin Feige revealed the title of the Fantastic Four First Steps about to begin filming in the UK. And Joe and Anthony Russo, set to direct Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, revealed who will play classic Fantastic Four villain Victor Von Doom. Robert Downey Jr., whose Iron Man kicked off the MCU before his character died in Avengers Endgame, returns to the fold. Seis muertos y 135 personas heridas se han registrado en Venezuela durante las últimas horas, informó la ONG Foro Penal. A esta hora me encuentro justamente en la sede de la ONU en Caracas esperando la llegada, la visita de la dirigente María Corina Machado junto al candidato opositor presidencial Edmundo González Urrutia para exigir a la comunidad internacional interceda ante lo que consideran como un fraude electoral registrado este domingo. Hace minutos el ministro para la defensa del país, Vladimir Padrino López, aseguró que hay un golpe de Estado en ejecución en la nación mientras que el presidente Nicolás Maduro en una alocución realizada este lunes durante la noche dijo pidió mano de hierro en contra de las personas que protesten en el país. It was late morning in Southport, a seaside town in the northwest of England, when police first received reports of a stabbing. It was quickly declared a major incident with multiple victims. Later in the day, police announced two children had died. The attack took place during a Taylor Swift themed yoga class aimed at six to 11 year olds, when a man walked in with a knife and started attacking the children. Police said nine other children were injured with six still in critical condition. Two adults were also injured as they tried to protect the children from the assailant. All those injured suffered stab wounds. A local business owner described it as like a scene from a horror movie, according to PA Media, and he described mothers arriving at the scene screaming. Merseyside police arrested a 17-year-old male from Banks, a village just outside of Southport, on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. They said the incident is not being treated as terror-related, and inquiries are ongoing to establish a motive.
UK leaders expressed their shock at the attack. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer posted a statement on X saying, horrendous and deeply shocking news emerging from Southport. My thoughts are with all those affected. And King Charles issued a statement sending heartfelt condolences, prayers and deeper sympathies to the loved ones of those who tragically lost their lives and to all those affected by this truly appalling attack. La ciudadanía tomó las calles pues acusan de fraude al Consejo Nacional Electoral y dicen estar dispuestos a seguir protestando hasta que sea necesario. La mañana de este martes se reportó la detención del dirigente político Freddy Superlano, también cercano al círculo de María Corina Machado, mientras que el candidato opositor Edmundo González Urrutia y María Corina Machado han convocado a una asamblea de ciudadanos frente a la sede del programa de Naciones Unidas para el Desarrollo en Caracas, es decir, a mis espaldas. Machado aseguró que tiene las actas que demuestran el triunfo de González Urrutia en todas las ciudades de Venezuela. En la noche, Nicolás Maduro dijo que la oposición quiere reeditar planes violentos y amenazó con prisión a quienes intenten desconocer el resultado electoral. En las últimas horas, también la autoridad aeronáutica del país suspendió los vuelos con Panamá y República Dominicana, pues señalan a estas naciones de poder estar usando su espacio aéreo para acciones que nada tienen que ver con la aeronáutica civil. Desde Caracas, Venezuela, les informa Adriana Núñez, Rabascal de La Voz de América para Tele Aruba.